Welcome to our first short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 21st of April. My name is Sebastian Bode, and I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleague Dirk from his home office. As usual, the colleague is ready to answer all your questions directly. How does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send the questions in the lower area, which we will answer directly back to you. Your questions and your answers are private and not for the public. That's very important. We will stay after the webinar until we have answered all questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but we will still be available via chat and question window. You will find the recording of the webinar in a few days on the well-known platforms such as YouTube, Vimeo, or our homepage. Usually, our webinars do not take place weekly, and of course, then they take more time. As already written in the invitation, good partnerships are very, very important to use to us, and we want to strengthen them to you even more. Therefore, we want to keep you up to date with these short webinars every week. But what shall we want to show you in this 20 minutes? We want to show you everything new and old, which can make your everyday life even better with Logica. But 20 minutes are not really much, so let's uh, so enough introductory words. Let's go and start with Logica. I've already created a project here. And um, I think we can start by uh, with a normal element. So a uh, brief description here, window in the first floor. After that, we have to uh, set the right profile system. We take here the Herald WD72 with the right rule package. Okay. After that, we can uh, set here the geometry of the window by taking in the grid and the dimensions. I think that is well known by you, so I have to not to talk about that, about that again. <clears throat> After that, we have to set the inserts. That is also very easy. And you all know a window could be very, very different. So in this case, we can set different corner connectors. In this case, for the base element with nails and also for the window sash. And our window should have a special color. And I think the sun is shining, so we take in sun yellow here. OK. After that, also the Herald system has different uh, different frames, and this we have to the right we have to set here, and I think we take this one. Also, with the other profiles, for this we take this one, and again this one. Our third tilt window needs also the right sash, and for this we take at least here the first one. This is okay. Okay, when with the profiles and the position properties, we are ready here, but I think the a good window needs a nice base profile. So we can set here an, an extra base profile with a wall connection. Take this. And we see here in the section our base profile. After that, we have to say to Logica which glazing we want to use. And here you can take the, the right glazing out of your, of your own glazing database, or you put here your needed project glazing. OK, we are right with the glazing. The next step is the hardware. 
And for a good window, we need also good hardware and we can set it here out of the database of, in this case, Hero R or other suppliers. So the handle needs also a color. I think silver is a good color for a yellow window without any extra parts in this case. Okay, accept. And now we can finish the position. Okay, the question is why uh, did I show you how to build a normal small window? The point is, I set a timer here and we need over three minutes to build this small window. So that's for this window, not, not much, but if you thought about perhaps 100 windows, then you need over 300 minutes for this 100 windows and 100 windows are not, not much in, in logical. So, and these are five hours. And that's the topic for today. I want to show you how you can get even faster with that. How you can save time by building the windows in Logica. So I put the timer away and then let's start with the first step. The first step that we had to set the profile system. That is easier. That can be easier because here in the pro project preferences, we can set here our standard system for input of elements. And now we are also taking here the WD72 and save it. But perhaps it, now you would say, yeah, in one project, I need more than one, than one profile system. Yeah, okay. Um, I can't disagree with you, but for this, I've prepared the option number two because when we build a new position we have here the favorites with the three points we can set the selection we've done till here with a special name like uh, this is my system for windows as an example or as another example we take every time the um, shuko firestop T90 with the right rule package for fire protection doors. Fire protection. So, and every time when you build a new position, you can take here the right system out of your favorites. And the important point is that's not only for this project, this is, that is for all your project you are working with but only for your user. So the colleague uh, next to you can have other favorites for himself because he makes more curtain walls and so on. Okay, these are the two ways to save time by um, setting the profile system. Okay, the next point is that we have to, the, that we have to do the faster that we are looking for a faster way um, for choosing the, the right profiles, the sash, the frame, and so on. For this, we have also here in the project preferences, the system preferences. And we take here our special system we want to use. This is the WD72. And In the next point here, we can set <clears throat> every profile we, we want to use. Like uh, we want to use in our project in special frame, then we look, then we put here in the, the frame we want to use. I've written down the, the right profile number so I can put them here very fast in. Also for the Malian. And for the transom. Okay, after that, Logical asks for the sash. Also not the problem. We can put here in the sash. Again, so if you do not know which variant, 
uh, you want to use, you put in every part the right profile number. Okay. Also, um, yes, we do it. So for the for the window sash, and after that, logical ask for the position properties. And in one project, we want to nail every corner connector. Not we want we want to set it not by every position. We want to set it one time. And this we make here. We see here the corner connection for the frame of the element, the window sash, and the door leaf. And here we can say, okay, I want to nail the corner connection for every part. So, and the last point was the wall connection. Also, this we can set here before. Here in the in the profiles, we have here the part wall connection, and at the bottom of the element, we want to have our nice base profile here. You can say OK, and now we are ready. So the over next step is the hardware, and often the hardware for Windows is also is also very yeah it's, uh, it's, it's the same for the whole project, and that's the reason. We, uh, why you can do it, why you can put it also here in the hardware for the window, and then we take the turn tilt window and can say here which preferences we have. I'm looking again for the WF100 hardware. This is right. And now we set the handle. We want to say no turn limiter and so on. An important point is that you can say, as an example for the magnetic switch, yeah, in this uh, project, I have the, some elements with a magnetic switch and some not. And here you can say, okay, then I put the magnetic switch on no preference, then logical set the other things automatically, but asks you for uh, every time for the magnetic switch. So. You can't forget it if uh, there are differences in the same project. So in this case, we also not, uh, do not need the magnetic switch and also not the ventilation. Okay. And after that, we are ready here in the system preferences for our project. Perhaps you uh, might miss here where we can set the color. That's right, but we can set the color on another um, on another window because the color is not only we, we can set the color not only for one system. We can set the color for the whole project or for the special uh, for the for the supply for the for the supplier. Before we go to the color, I want to show you one more thing about the system preferences. I've said that we are here in the project pre uh, system preferences. We have, in, we have the same point also in the user bar database for the global system preferences. So you can set your system preferences, not only for, the, for your project, but also for the whole company. And if you have now the problem that you have different departments where different preferences are needed, then I can show you one great thing because you can copy these system preferences. As an example for the project department. So, and if you have two project departments, then you make two different system preferences. And perhaps if you don't like the preferences of your office neighbor then you can make your own system preferences and everybody can work with this uh, what he want okay I, I think that's really great for small companies and for big companies and that makes it very much easier okay enough for the preferences we go the next step for the color and the color we find here also in the project preferences here in the part colors. We can set here in, in general color, 
but often the profile suppliers have yeah, their own special supplier colors, like in this case, Heroal has um, their own special colors. So, and if you are using two suppliers, then you can set here uh, up to two um, different uh, colors for the for the suppliers. In our project, we only use Heroal, so we only set the color for Heroal and also our nice sun yellow. We have also to set the color for the hardware of the windows, and when we are ready, we can save also this window. Okay, the next step in the input, there we have to select the glazing. There's uh, also a special default option here, also in the project preferences in the part of the fillings. There we can say set up to three preferences, up to three glazing favorites for this project and up to three panel preferences. So from here, you are also directly in your own glass, gla uh, glass database or also here you can say um, which special project glass you want to have. I also take here the same the same glazing, no problem. And for this project, we only need one. So if you need more, it's not a problem. We save it also. Yeah, we have looked for, for every step. And so after this, I want to say we um, I reset the timer and start again building the position. Okay, window, first floor, and uh, our profile system is already set. After that, we take also in the right geometry with the grid and the dimension. After that, we have to set the inserts, and then we can lay back and the rest is made by Logical automatically as you want it in your project preferences. I stop the timer and we see here less than one minute for this small window. And uh, so for this, I, I um, should not take, uh, say to you how much time you can save with this special preferences and you have to do them one time before you start with the project you think about it make it very good and then you can save very very much time but our um, product management has thought about two more great things to make it very easy that you get the right elements direct in your project. And uh, the first one is here, the position library, where you can put in directly your own new position or where you can import them from another project and so on. But how can you get them from the position library in your project? That's very easy. Import from position library here we uh, choose the slider and in this window we can give the hardware a special color okay we can set, change also here the the height if we want and then we say okay and after a few seconds the element is in our project. The important thing is that's a normal element now. You can edit it, you can make orders, you can everything you want, you can delete it, what you want, but you are very, very fast with it. And you could 
put all your elements you have very often in the in your daily life in the uh, in the bibliotheque and yeah that is that is very easy to put them to get them from the from the position library di directly uh, to your project similar to the position library there's a second option it's called the element templates and we get them also from uh, by import from element template so we get the normal window and here we can put in a special code in special code where we can say okay i want this template or i want this template and if we do not know which code we want to use that's not a problem we can just say okay and after that we have an overview where we can see all the different templates where some colleagues have yeah thought about which with with many many hints of you thank you for that thought about which geometries are frequently used so and yeah there's very very much in and yeah you can choose it here or you can put here the right code and if you say after that okay oh the code is unknown I forget one zero. We can change here the dimension. And also here with the system preferences, our element is very fast in our project. Also with the right profiles, glazing, and so on, and so on. So there are three great ways to, uh, uh, to be very, very fast. and uh, now you might like have a recommendation for me, which is the best way, but I cannot give you that. The ways are very uh, are as varied and flexible as you need it, and try every way. And perhaps for this project you need this way, and for this project you need another way. Use the way you feel the most comfortable, safest, and fastest with. Okay, we are now. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. Five minutes over the 20, uh, 20 minutes. But um, I, before we end, I would like to still give you a short preview of the next week, as you know from the normal good series. Today, the motto was to enter the elements very quickly into Logica, and uh, we do it mainly with with Windows. Basically, the same applies also to doors. But we all know a very important thing. Doors are often much complicated. So, but for this, Logica can help us also. And what the functions are, which can help us to make doors more easy, that I want to show you the next time. Finally, we um, come to the last note. If you have further interest, you can simply participate on the following survey and after that we will uh, call you back very soon and i think it's a nice wednesday let's rock the week together stay healthy until then thank you bye